once you understand it, um, then it becomes easy and it just becomes a working machine and there's no, no effort. So I'll go and sign up, man, and it, that was the best purchase I've ever made in my life. I had to put some insurance on that motherfucker. Man, you let that motherfucker conk out. Man, I am contacting these motherfuckers. I got a $500 deductible on everything that I own, be it my car, my home, and everything. I got a $500 deductible. I'm going to pay the 500 and y'all come fix my shit. You know what I'm saying? But that is the best purchase that I have ever made. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father. That is the best purchase that I have ever made. And when I get in there, I just block out everything. I have my Himalayan sea salts in there, so I'm receiving all these negative ions in the air. It's quiet, sometimes dark. And I go in there and I have a talk with God. And I always start it off with Father God. You know, I admit my wrongdoings. You know, I talk to myself sometimes. My circle is real small. You know what I'm saying? My circle is small. And I guess that's one reason why I can come on here and be so friendly with y'all. Just so open and honest. I don't give a fuck. Look my shit up. Do whatever, whatever. You can't hurt me. I'm covered by the blood. I am sheltered by the shepherd. I have no fear whatsoever. I don't fuck with nobody and I don't owe nobody. And I stay the fuck out the way. You know what I'm saying? If and if anything, you hear about I didn't commit suicide, I'm too strong for that. Not to say that that's a weak link or anything like that. For me, I'm just not that one. So if you hear anything that happened in my motherfucking ass, somebody did it. Because I'm amongst the living and I love to live and I love to nurture um, my kids' growth. I love growth around my home. I created this oasis to have, that, to where I uh, uh, attract the wildlife and insects and, you know, different butterflies and birds. And I'm into those types of things. I have living things around my home. I love live plants. and You know what I mean? I love that kind of stuff. And I just love, you know, I just love just, um, just things to be homeostasis. You know, just level. I just like to just be level, you know. And uh, so I go in there and I get to asking God for things. And, you know, I get to talking about the things that I've done wrong. And, you know, and I, I admit my stuff. I cry sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I get it back together and then I go on with it. I cuss, you know. And, I, you know, one thing about God, he has a... He has a sense of humor. And see, a lot of people feel like, you know, when you believe in God and you believe in Christ, that whereas, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. And I don't believe that. You know, I think um, he understands my heart. <laughs> he made me. So he already know when I'm bullshit. You know what I mean? It ain't up to y'all to judge me. You know what I'm saying? I don't do what I do for y'all no way. You know what I'm saying? He brought me here onto this platform. And as long as he's going to give me this voice to speak, Nigga, I'm running with it, you know. I get um, young ladies hitting me up all the time. Auntie, this, this, this. Auntie, I love you. I love you more, baby. Damn it, you know. And I don't have a problem. You know, when you guys see me out in, in, in everything, I stop what I'm doing, you know. And I, and I, and I talk with y'all, take pictures with y'all, selfies, this, this, this. No problem, you know what I mean. You know, and, and I'm happy for the life that God gave me. You know, I don't need to have a J-Lo life. I don't need to be on some, you know, Beyonce style or nothing like that. I'm cool with what, with what I got. That means I can go to Albertsons when I need to. I can go down there and go get me some fish. I make enough money to pay every bill I owe. I'm able to, you know, travel and see and do and eat and all that and all that. Man, I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I just stay in t and stay, you know... In, in this, on, on, on this field right here. If I just stay on this path right here, I'm so cool with it. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Auntie cool with it. You understand know me? And so, all I want now is to upgrade the things that I already have. You know? If I don't, fine. It's already cool. You know? But uh, I always make goals for myself. You know? I still... You know, aim for higher and higher. I compete with me. I don't find, you know, people that I want to be like her. I want to have what she have and this, 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 this. Because if somebody else got it, you can get it too. It's just a fact of whether you want that or not. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't pray for the same things. I could buy all kind of shit. They got to choose to put my money in this right here. 
You know what I'm saying? I choose to put my money on my ride. You know what I'm saying? I choose to be able to look a certain way when I go out in the streets. That's what I put my money on. You know, in the house when I'm all, nigga, I'm raggedy in like a motherfucker. But you let me get ready to get, get invited to something. You know, that's about, it's called transformation. Nigga, I transform on your motherfucking ass. At home, when I'm chilling, I'm kicking, I'm on this right here, nigga. I'm filing wild. Nigga, I'm raggedy as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Titties hanging low. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker t t tatted up. Whatever. But when I get ready to step out that motherfucking door, you're going to be like, God damn, this motherfucking bitch is like a bag of money. You know what I mean? One of them, you know. And I love that about me. I love that about me, nigga. I can come on this motherfucker. Because in there for motherfuckers ain't got no anticipation. Motherfuckers ain't got me on such a type of pedestal to where I can't have no off day. The words motherfuckers see me, you know, uh, um, and I'm not on. And they be like, damn, what's wrong with that bitch? No, because y'all motherfuckers are so used to seeing me raggedy as fuck. It's like when I come on this motherfucker, it's like, oh, my God. Oh, you look cute today. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool with it. So anyway, um, but I just wanted to come on and talk about a few things right quick and, you know, say happy anniversary to my own goddamn self, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I need to get up and uh, I need to take a shower, clean my motherfucking bathroom. I'm doing my laundry and shit. I'm, you know, doing my linens. Got so many motherfuckers in the wash right now. And uh, I need to go get some paint. Um, my dining room, I want that painted like a, a nice eggplant color. And so, um, being that everything has moved around, I, shit is all in the middle of the goddamn flow. But the floor looks so nice. It was so worth the money. I, oh, my God. Mm. I love it. It looks, it, looks, it looks bigger in there. It's just, I'm going to show you guys. I am. Um, I'm getting my, I'm taking the plastics and shit off my furniture. Now my kids are old enough. And see, like, right now, you, see, you hear them outside because they had company stay the night last night. You know, it's almost every week I got some kids here at the house. Like, my shit is the spot. But it's okay, you know, because, um, you know, I don't have a problem with, especially when they're going to be respectful at Miss Tina's house, you know what I mean? But they like to come over and kick it, and, you know, we make nachos and tacos, and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we have taco bar going on. Like, tonight we're going to have taco bar, so, you know, and we have some cheese and guac and sour cream, you know what I'm saying? cilantro, onions, you know what I mean? The whole get down and you just go through and just put you put your meat on right. You put your meat in there and, and you go down and you just, you know what I'm saying, make your little get down. So tonight we're having taco bar and uh, and my kids' friends stayed the night. And so, um, you know, but, uh, um, excuse me, Tiana, did you get started on that kitchen? Is that is Isaiah already started on that yard? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? See, I don't have to go off on motherfuckers, you know. Now, see, my son, like today, he got to be to work at 2 o'clock. So I told him that I'll take him today because I got some running around to do. I need to go to the store. I need to go get some cheese and shit. And like I said, I need to go get this eggplant color paint. And uh, I need another can of that green, too. And uh, so I got some running around, some shit to do. You know, I got to get these taxes and shit done. And, oh, and I need to do this video, product alert shit, off the chain shit, okay? I don't want to talk about it right now, um, but it's, it's, it's part of the um, beauty treatment for the woman of color. I got a product alert for you guys. And I got a new product coming in, too, that I'm going to discuss with y'all. I should have it this week. I haven't gotten it yet. Um, but I do have a product alert on, on a consumer alert. <laughs> Excuse me, shall I say. So anyway, let me go and get my ass in the shower. I need to clean up my bathroom. I need to clean my shower. And I clean my shower when I get ready to get in that motherfucker. So I'm going to... Put some Ajax and shit. Because one thing about that shower, um, that steaming shit ain't no motherfucking joke. That shit is bomb as fuck, too. I love my shower, too. Let me say that. I'll get in that motherfucker and put that motherfucking seat down and shit. And, nigga. You know, but you got to be careful, you know, because I done fell out before. 
You know what I'm saying? I done fell out of my shower. I've fallen out coming out of that motherfucker because there's too much going on. You know, I'm in a dry sauna and then I go into steam. And then, you know, my, sometimes my body be like, bitch, what are you doing? You know, I've, I've actually have fallen out, you know, from going through these extremes. You know, so, you know, again, you know, sometimes I got to tell my ass, bitch, slow down. You know, what are you trying to do, you know? But I, once again, it's just the Virgo in me. I don't compete with nobody. I compete with me. I compete with, okay, well, the last time I did this, so now I got to do it more, five more minutes, you know, the next time. Okay, well, I did this and I went that way. Now, what if I just kind of tweak it and go that way? You know, I, I go back and forth with my own self. I know that's kind of crazy. I know motherfuckers be like, damn, bitch, you crazy. I don't know, but I compete with me. And as long as it's working, I'm going to keep on doing that. How about that? As long as the shit is working and I'm reaping reward, and you hearing these motherfuckers out here with cutting saws and table saws and, and motherfucking, you hearing motherfuckers tapping, that means that some progress is going on. That means some shit I'm building, you know, and I'm building equity <laughs> all around my life, okay? You know, and uh, anyway, oh, y'all, okay, I went over there to the candy shop and, um, uh, Y'all know my harvest is all spent up. Uh, it's gone. I'm back buying my shit now. Ain't that a bitch? Everybody that came over here, I was giving them niggas, you know, because everybody got their card. So, you know, um, they come over here, oh, well, Tina, you know, can I get this? Can I get that? Can I get this? Can I get it, get it, get it, get it, get it? You know what I'm saying? And I was just giving it away, you know what I mean? You know, to my to my nearest and dearest and to my family and my friends, you know. And they had, they had known that I was growing my own medication. So the motherfucker was like, man, look, I ain't got no money, you know, so I can't go to the candy shop for shit, nigga. Can I get a Vicodin? Yeah, that's the motherfucker. <laughs> Can I get a glass of wine? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shit. So I was I was handing out glasses of wine, you know what I'm saying, to my family and friends and shit. They know when they come over here, I'm going to get them right. Nigga, I'm going to feed you. We're going to put one up, nigga. Go to the bar, make you a drink, nigga. That cognac? Yeah. So, yeah. You know, you come to my house, nigga. We parlaying. We kicking it. You understand? Yes, baby. We I'm going to get you right. You know, and I'm going to tell your mouth out at the end. Because we're going to sit up, we're going to need a knee, we're going to talk about some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Because when you already up there and you hanging with some people that's already up there, nigga, it be fun and motherfucker. And everybody acting a fool, man. Yeah, we be having fun. <laughs> we be having fun. When we get up, when we get together, we do have fun. You know? Um. So, anyway. Let me go. And um, get started with my day. It is now 11.46. And Anthony got to be to work at 2 today. But one thing about it, though, he get off at, I think, 10. So, um, yeah, I'll probably have Kenny go and get him. I got a hangnail going on. Yeah, I'll probably have Kenny. Yeah, I got a hangnail something. But yeah, I'll probably have Kenny go get him. Because that right there, that is eating my ass up. I'm like, son, you got to be able to drive. I got a trip coming up, and I don't want to be worried about your motherfucking ass needing to get to and fro, nigga. You need to be driving. So, yeah, that's something that we got to work on this week, really. Square business, you know, that we we, we need to really work on this right here because, you know, that's, that's, that, that's my thing. You know, I'm like, damn, and my son is not slow. He's a scholar. This motherfucker's one of the smartest motherfuckers you ever meet. You know, and uh, I don't know, but it was like that when I was potty training my baby. I was like, nigga, why you keep peeing on the flow? This motherfucker just would not get the concept. I was like, baby, what's going on? Same thing. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. And I know uh, one of my girls, Budget Queen, Latasha, she was like, well, wait a minute. Um... Well, you might need to take him to driving school. I was like, nigga, put your old ass in driving school. You know that's some high school shit, nigga. You know? And so, but we're going to have to figure out something because this nigga need to drive. Because this right here, nigga, you need to drive. You got your own vehicle and you can't get in that motherfucker and do like you need to. No. Mm-mm. Enough is enough. Okay? We need to figure this shit out. Now, Kenny will take him and they'll, they'll, they'll bend some corners and shit and you know, but I took that nigga on the freeway and freaked that nigga out. He was like, wait a minute, uh-oh, we're on the freeway. Yeah, nigga, 
keep going. Uh, we on the freeway. We good. I took him on the freeway twice. He drove to work on the freeway. And did he drive to work on the freeway? I think he did drive to work on it. Yeah, he did drive to work on the freeway. He drove to Lowe's and got on the freeway. Um, sounded like something busted, didn't it? Let me go see what's going on. Anyway, family, I got to go. Oh, okay. Maybe they were just, maybe they just bamming on some stuff. So, anyway, let me go. Let me put on my robe, go to the front of the house and see what's needed and where can I be uh, used. And, uh, uh, girls, one thing about it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to go. You want to be an asset, not a liability. You want that not only for yourself, but to the company that you keep. Like I say, assimilation and association work hand in hand. You want to hang around the people and where you wear and what you're trying to go. If you're gonna, if you want to be a makeup artist, then you need to hang with makeup artists. If you want to be a comedian, you need to have comedian friends. If you want to be in business, then you have to have friends that are in business. You understand what I'm saying? Not saying that you abandon your people that's not doing what you're doing, but you got to also simulate yourself by people that are also doing, people that are grounded. Your grounders, the people from whence you came, they're going to keep you grounded. But you also need some people that's going to make you push to excel for greater. So, yes. And, and another thing, do not give your all to an inconsistent man. I need to close out on that right there. Don't give your all to an inconsistent man, nor, is it, nor should it be required. You understand what I'm saying? Don't give your all to an inconsistent man. I had to figure that out. Okay, that's why I'm speaking on it. But, uh, but, hey, let me go. Let me go because I'm going to start this shit into some more shit. And I need to do that on a need and need day. Yeah, we got to do that on a need and need day. Okay, when I'm here by myself and the kids is going to school and I can talk like I want to. I can't talk like I want to right now. I got a lot of people in the house. Might seem like it's not. That's because you're in my bourgeois, you know. Uh, but, uh, anyway, I'm gone. I love this life and I love the Lord and I thank you, Father God, for this life. I thank you for the many blessings that you've given me. And I thank you guys for watching. It's been six years. Six, man. Six. It's been a hell of a ride and I love it. Thank you, Google. I'm gone. Deuces. You guys have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.